Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Well, we have Maria Mitka, another 20K championship for her here in Des Moines. So, uh, first of all, what number is this on 20K championships? Because she seemed to be racking them up. This is my fourth consecutive one and fourth overall, so that I'm really happy. awesome. Started it out back here in Des Moines, so. Okay, well. Definitely. Uh, well, what do you think about today's race? You were um, neck and neck uh, with Aaron and Miranda for a while. Uh, you guys were working it hard there at the beginning. Yeah, it was really nice. It felt great to go out with people that you knew you were working with, not just against. Uh, we were trading off laps, sharing sponges. I mean, it felt like an international race when you're already Team USA working together. And it was kind of a dress rehearsal for what we want to do in Moscow, is we all want to make it to Moscow and we'll work together in Moscow. So it couldn't have been a better start and to have greater teammates to work with that for. Well, that was great. Well, uh, and um, here on this track, uh, did it warm up a lot? I mean, uh, compared to what it's been the last couple of days in the morning, it, it doesn't seem quite as warm as it's been. I'm sure it's warm. I mean, it said 78 when we pulled up this morning at 6 a.m. or 5.30, whatever we got here. But um, I didn't feel like it was that hot. Um, I've been training back home in Central Park. I'll try to go out later, start an experiment first. I've worn long sleeve and capris um, extra to try to make it warmer. Um, luckily, Long Island's more on the humid side, although it's been a little drier, I feel, lately. But I honestly didn't feel so bad. And with the sponges being cold and there was a nice light breeze, it felt like it was cooling me off. So, and, uh, no, so you're training in Central Park. Are you uh, back in school out there? Or you've always been in school for... Uh biomed research or doctor what is it yep I'm um, getting my PhD in biomedical sciences in dr. Matt Evans lab and um, it's at Mount Sinai and um, basically I started back up on I took a leave of absence of six months for the Olympic trials in the Olympics and then on um, Labor Day I came back to work and I've been working steady since so Okay, well, what type of workout you do there in Central Park? Because anything you do is tough with all the big hills here. Honestly, I really like it, and it helps break up the monotony. And when I train solo a lot, it gives me something to, like, mentally focus on and breaks it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, we do repeat 2Ks, repeat 4Ks, repeat 1Ks, fartlicks, everything is done there. And now, where do, where do you do all the repeat work at? The repeat work is, um, so I enter the park around 97th Street, and just a little bit past there, um, where you could take a, a path up to the reservoir, uh, we have 1K marked out and 1K back, so that's where I do it. It's the flatter part there, so okay, right it's not there. entirely flat, but it's great. It's makes, it makes this seem really super flat, Yeah, maybe. I remember they used to have a course out there, 10K course, we can walk back and forth. There. Yeah. You don't go up to Harlem Hill and train up and down that thing, huh? How do you think I do 25K in the park? Two and a half laps. Of course I do. I love it. Well, that, that <laughs> does break up monotony very quickly there. And it's a great place to train, and it makes you tough running around Central Park. Oh, yeah, it does. And I love it. You know, and Tim knows that if I do a fart lick and I go for the entire, we have 10K loop map marked out, that, yes, my splits are going to be all over the place. But they're consistently, for each time I do that same workout, at the same place all over the place. So. Well, cool. Well, that's great. Well, congratulations and good luck in Moscow. And uh, it'll be exciting. I'll be there uh, doing some media work. So hopefully I'll oh, be awesome. interviewing you again after you have a great race there. Thanks. Looking forward to that, Gary. Awesome.